Hey guys, it's Penguin here, and welcome back to another gold making video. Today, I'll be discussing how to get six more patterns that you can have from being revered with the Argentan faction. Now, this video is going to be divided into multiple sections. The first three sections will be talking about all the different patterns, and the last section will be actually how to get the reputation and get the patterns themselves. So you can either go into the description and look for the timestamps, or you can use the divided timeline of this video to find where you want to go. So first, in order to learn all six patterns, you will need a leather worker, a tailorer, and blacksmith. Now first, for leather working, there are two patterns that you can get. They are the Dawn Treaders and the Golden Mantle of the Dawn. They both sell for 30 to 40k currently on my row. And to craft them, you will need eight enchanted leather, four living essence, six guardian stones, four cured rug hide, four rune thread, four essence of water, and 30 rugged leather. So if you have an enchanter, I would highly recommend making the enchanted leather yourself, since you will also need a few more for the other patterns. They are also quite expensive on my auction house, for example, they're selling for about 300 gold, but I can craft them for like 30 to 50 gold. So you will save a lot if you do have an enchanter. Now the next two recipes that you can get are the Argent Boots and the Argent Shoulders. You need tailoring to learn these two. And to craft both, you will need five moon cloth, four guardian stones, four iron web spider silk, four enchanted leather, two golden pearls, and six bolts of rune cloth. Now, like I said before, you should craft your own enchanted leather if you have an enchanter. And also, you should look at the video that I have currently made and make your own moon cloth if you have the faux cloth in order to do so. So lastly, we have our two final recipes, which are the gloves of the dawn and the girdle of the dawn. They both also sell for about 15 to 30k depending on your realm and you will need two righteous orbs eight thorium bars 16 true silver bars and two arcanite bars to craft this now if you haven't seen my previous videos you should watch the thorium bar farm which will be in the card right now well you will gain thorium true silver and arcane crystals which if you have an alchemist you can turn into arcanite bars this will end up saving you a ton of gold because currently on my realm Arcanite bars go for about 800 gold apiece. Now to actually get these recipes, you will need to be revered with the Argent Dawn. So first, you'll want to take your character and fly to the Eastern Plaguelands. Once you're there, to the very left side at the entrance, there will be a lady named Fiona and her caravan. You will want to talk to her and pick up the two different quests that you can get. Now. One quest will send you north, and one quest will send you south. You will want to go up north and talk to the dwarf by the cave. His name is Guildwood Goldbraids. After talking to him, you will gain another quest, which you need to go inside the cave and collect bile from the spiders. And after that, you will gain one more quest to collect bells by the lake. After that, you will want to fly directly south to Tarinar Sunstrike, and he will give you a quest to kill five miscreations. Now, upon completing this quest, you it will actually automatically complete on the side of the screen, and you will get another one to collect hound blood. Now, this blood is not a guaranteed drop, so it will take a few more kills to actually get all the blood you need. After completing that, you can finally return to Fiona and turn in both quests. Then she should give you another quest and you will want to click on the caravan and select that you are ready to ride. After that, your character and Fiona will get on the caravan and start riding down the path. Now, since this caravan is here for roleplay reasons, you will actually have to wait a few minutes in order to get to the next destination. Finally, upon arrival, you will be able to turn in that quest with Fiona and there will be a guard standing right outside the tower. Once you talk to him, you should gain the Traveling Companions quest, and you will want to fly up or walk to the top of the tower. 
up there, there will be one guy, which you will want to gain the quest for Rough Roads, and then ask him to join you on your journey. Then, you will go and kill the bats that you need to for Rough Roads. After that, you can make it you can make your way back to the guy and turn in both quests and talk to Fiona. She will give you the Trek Continues quest and you will once again have to ride the caravan. Now after waiting for another few minutes, you will be at another tower and you will be able to turn in the quest with her and instantly gain another quest called Boys Will Be Boys. Now you will want to get on your mount and fly directly to the chapel which will be on your map. It will be almost directly right to your location. After flying there, you will see the dwarf that you helped earlier by the fountain and you will want to turn in your quest. He should give you a boyhood dream quest which will have to go inside the chapel and talk to the main guy. After talking to him, you will want to pick up that quest called Argent Call. This is the final quest for that line. You will want to make your way back to the crypt that is behind the chapel and go down to the very bottom floor. After that, you will want to use the quest item, which is a scroll, and go through the little interaction. A ghost will appear, and then waves of mobs will spawn in order for you to kill. If you are max level or higher than level 30, then you will one hit everything, and it will take a while for each wave to spawn since it's anticipating you taking a long time to actually kill that mob. Finally, after a few waves, the ghost will actually want to fight you himself, and upon killing him, you will instantly gain Revered with the Argent Dawn. You can go turn in that quest, and you will gain a little bit more reputation, but it's not necessary. Now since you are Revered, you will want to make your way out of the chapel and head left to the vendors, and on the very end, there will be a lady that you can talk to for recipes. Now, there are a few minor recipes for your enchanter or your alchemist, which you can get if you want to like 100% complete everything, but they're not necessary for gold making. But you will see the six recipes that you need for all your characters. On average, one quest line takes me about 20 minutes to complete, and to do that with all three professions on all three different characters, it took me about an hour to obtain all six recipes. However, for example, if you have your blacksmith and leather worker as the same character, you will only have to do your tailoring character after that, so you can cut it down to 40 minutes. It just depends on how fast you are on questing and how many characters you have to complete. So yeah, that's it everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you want more, and comment down below with any suggestions or comments that you have, and have a good day.